With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that 100 milli curie of uh, radon which emit 5.5 mega electron volt alpha particle are contained in a gas, uh, sorry, glass capillary tube 5 meter long with internal and external diameter to be 2 mm and 6 mm respectively. Now neglecting uh, the end effect and assuming that the inside of the uniformly irradiated by the particle which are absorbed at the surface, we, what we need to calculate, we need to calculate what is the temperature difference between the walls of the tube when the steady state condition are reached. Okay, so uh, what, why would be there a temperature difference which would be ex uh, existing because this alpha particle would be carrying energy. So they would be transferring energy to our tube. Okay, let's say this is our tube. So we just make one of the section. So this is, this would be the cube. So internal and external diameter are given. So these, these portion would be the circular portion. Now here the radius is given as to be, for this portion it is given as to be 2 mm. This is the internal and the external one it is given as to be 6 mm. Okay, now we know that for example, if there is a heat transfer, because here it would be the reaction which would be taking place and there would be heat transfer through the surface itself. Okay, like this. Okay, radially. Now if K is the conductivity, if K is the conductivity uh, of, of this surface, so we can say that the rate of heat transfer Q dot, this is equals to for the case of the cylinder, okay, having internal and external dia, it would be equals to 2 pi, 2 pi KL the temperature di difference between the two, let's say this is the inner one and this is the outer one. So the temperature difference, we just call this as to be delta T divided by ln, ln outer dia by internal dia, RO divided by RI. Okay. This is the rate of heat transfer through a coaxial cylinder. So it would be the coaxial cylinder. Now what we have been given, we have been given that, that there are uh, 100 millicurie of the uh, uh, this radon which are emitting this uh, number of uh, uh, this amount of energy. So we know that this dn divided by dt, the rate of the, we say that number of the decay of the, this radon atom, dn divided by dt, this would be equals to what? So it is given that to be 100 millicurie. So we can say that 100 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 curie. Now it is also given that here we can see 1 curie means 3.7 into 10 raised to the power 10 disintegration per second. Now we can just multiply it uh, with the value 3.7 into 10 raised to the power 10. So as to know what are the dis disintegration per second which would be happening, so it would turn out to be 3.7 into 10 raised to the power 9 disintegration per second. This would be the case. Okay. Now each alpha particle is carrying this amount of energy. Now if there are these many number of integrate uh, disintegration, so what is the energy? Energy of alpha particle of alpha particle per second. Particle per second. So clearly we can just multiply this this integration with our energy of a single alpha particle which is given as to be 5.5 5.5 mev this has been given so if we solve this if we multiply this then this would turn out to be 2.035 into 10 raised to the power 10 mev now if we convert it into in terms of joule so we can just say that 2.035 into 10 raised to the power 10 into mega 10 raised to the power 6 electron volt 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 or we can just multiply it by 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 13 so if by adjusting the power here now this would turn out to be in joule but here we have been given the value of k in terms of uh, uh, this uh, thermal conductivity in terms of calorie so and it is also given that so uh, uh, it is also given that uh, 1 joule is 4.18 calorie so actually it is 1 calorie would be equivalent to 4.18 joule now this we know, this would be in terms of joule. So we know the value in terms of joule, this, this many number of joules. So if we just divide it by 4.18, if we just divide it by 4.18, we would be getting this answer in terms of calorie. So this is basically, this would be the uh, amount of energy per second. Now if we calculate this, this would turn out to be 7.78 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 calorie. So these many of calorie per second. Now this would be the amount of energy which would be transferred uh, through the through our uh, this cylinder. So we can just equate this amount of energy per second with this amount of energy per second. So we can say that 2 pi, 2 pi k value is 0 0.025, 0 0.025 length would be 0 0.05 into delta T divided by ln 
outer radius is 6, inner radius is 2, ln 2 divided by 2, this would be equals to 7.78 into 10 raised to the power minus 4, this would be calorie per second, if we calculate this, then our delta T would turn out to be 1.09 degree C, that means this much of temperature difference would exist. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.